hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of linux mint version 21.2 on virtualbox this version is called victoria now the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox and to do that head to your chrome browser and then search for virtualbox now click on the first page over here which takes you to oracle virtualbox official website now by the left click on downloads and you can see VirtualBox for Windows host over here. Click on Windows host and it should start downloading. Now, I already have VirtualBox installed, so I'm just going to skip downloading it again. If you haven't already, then you just have to download and install like every other software. If you find it difficult to install, then check the description of this video. I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox on both Mac OS and Windows. Now, the next thing we have to do is download Linux Mint, the latest version. So open a new tab and then search for Linux Mint. And then you can see the first page heading to linuxmint.com. Click on it. And then click on the download button right on your screen and it should take us to the download page. Now we can see Linux Mint with different desktop environments. This is Cinnamon Edition. This is Mate. This is Xface. Now we can go with any one of these and it should work perfectly. In this case, we are going to be downloading Cinnamon edition of Linux Mint. So just click on download and it should open up the next page. Now scroll down and then select any one of these mirror locations. So we can go with the first one and it should start downloading. The file size is about 2.8 GB so you know what to expect. Now we can close our browser and then open our download folder. And here we go, this is Linux Mint. Now, after installing VirtualBox, we have to open VirtualBox. And then create a new virtual machine by clicking on New. Let's call this machine Linux Mint 21.2. Set the type to Linux and then set the version to Ubuntu 64 bits. Next. Now, the base memory is your RAM which you want to allocate to your virtual machine. Now, I would recommend anything less than 40% of your RAM. You shouldn't allocate more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine, else it will slow down your host computer. I have 16GB on my PC, so I'm going to give it about 4.8GB, which should be okay. Now, same thing with the processor cores as well. I'm going to give it 3 CPU cores out of 8. And then next, create a virtual hard disk. Now, now this is the storage size you want to give to your virtual machine. I would recommend you go on the higher side if you want your machine to perform better. So I'm going to give it 58GB which should be ok. And then next, finish. Now we have to make few changes before we start the installation. Now click on settings up here and then go to system. This is your base memory which is your RAM, you can switch around whenever you want. Same with the processor as well. Now click on display and then increase the video memory to 128MB. Also enable 3D acceleration and then head to storage, click on this empty disk icon over here, by the right click on the disk icon and then choose a disk file, locate your download folder and then select Linux Mint, open, ok. Now once we click on start, we should begin the installation of Linux Mint. So let's click on start. Now hit enter to continue. Okay, so this is a live environment of Linux Mint version 21.2, but we have to install it on our disk so we can eject the ISO and then use it directly. So to do that, click on install Linux Mint over here, double click on it and it should open the installer window. Now select the language and continue. Set your keyboard layout and continue. Now we should select install multimedia codec so we would be able to play video files. Continue. Now we're going to go with erase disk and install Linux Mint which is going to use our selected disk. So we're going to continue with that so let's click on install now. And you can see changes that would be made to the disk we allocated earlier. Now you just have to click on continue. We have to select our region and time zone. Continue. 
now enter your pc name username and password which you're going to use to access this machine after the installation and then we can continue and it should start installing now the installation process might take about 15 minutes or less sometimes even more it all depends on your pc hardware and how much resources you are located to virtualbox but you just have to wait patiently so it has now been successfully installed now click on restart now so you can see a prompt to remove the installation medium and then hit enter well let's check if the installation medium has been removed so if you go back to our linux mint and then go to settings storage you can see that the installation media has actually been removed so we don't really need to do anything now let's just close this and then hit enter and it should boot into linux mint now log in with your password so basically this is how to install linux mint on virtualbox now you may want to view full screen mode so we can just right click and then go to display settings and then change the display resolution to whatever your pc resolution is and that should be fine so just apply and then make sure you confirm your pc resolution and set it exactly and we are good if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one